The guy the Biden administration droned, was he an aid worker or an ISIS-K operative? Uh, the administration is, of course, reviewing that, uh, that strike. Uh, and I'm sure that a you know full assessment will be will be forthcoming. So you don't know if it was an aid worker or an ISIS K operative. Uh, I can't speak to that, and I can't speak to that in this setting in any event. So you don't know or won't tell us. Uh, I don't. I don't know because we're, we're reviewing it. Well, see, you'd think you'd kind of know before you off somebody with a Predator drone, whether he's an aid worker or he's an ISIS-K. See, the thing is, is this isn't just you. It's been going on for administration after administration. The Obama administration droned hundreds and hundreds of people. And the thing is, is there is blowback to that. I mean, I don't know if it's true, but I see these pictures of these beautiful children that were killed in the attack. If that's true, and not propaganda, if that's true, Guess what? Maybe you created hundreds or thousands of new potential terrorists from bombing the wrong people. So you got to know who you we can't sort of have an investigation after we kill people. We have an investigation before we kill people. We've got plenty of bombs. We can bomb almost anything we want from anywhere in the world. Maybe we should have bombed the helicopters and the planes that we left behind. I mean, even though you said you didn't know any of this and was all surprised once they took all of our stuff, we should have said you got 20 minutes to get out of it because we're going to blow it all up then you would have sent a message of strength. Instead, we bombed somebody who we're not sure whether it was an aid worker or an ISIS-K operative. See, that's not, a, that's not sending a signal of strength. And in the end, there will be more blowback from it. If you killed an aid worker on accident, I mean, do you think we're better off because of that? You really could have acted in a position of strength, but you could have made the basic decision, that the basic fundamental decision that, that really ruined the whole thing for you was a, a military decision to abandon Bagram Air Force Base before, before you left, before the Americans were out. Anybody can argue, and you may have a point, that it happened quick, more quickly than we thought it was going to happen. Okay, that's an honest mistake. Still a huge mistake. And when people make judgments, mistakes in the military, they ought to be relieved of their post. But leaving Bagram Air Force Base, I think, is an unforgivable sort of mistake. It's going to be remembered in history. But if you do nothing about it, you leave all these people in place and say, oh, well, we all agreed. It's like, then maybe everybody needs to go. I mean, but really, it was a terrible mistake. But releasing money to the Taliban will add insult to injury. It'll be terrible for the memory of the 13 soldiers who died in the end, who were the final soldiers to die in this war, if you end up giving money to the, the people that, uh, you know, have been ruining the Middle East and Afghanistan for decades. I hope you won't release the money, and I think it'll be a big mistake.